And, uh, sorry, let me stop. Okay, uh, so today I'm going to be talking about outdoor art. And if many of you live around this area, you probably have gone to Montalvo, which is kind of like an art center, but they also have a hiking trail around there. Um, ah, oh, sorry. Okay, so the whole point of Montalvo, I think, is that um, it really helps you distress because once you change your environment into one that's of nature, um, you get to go on a calming hike, but at the same time, you get to look at all the different sculptures that Montalvo has to offer. So with that being said, I'm, today my purpose of my presentation is to talk about the importance of your environment and how artwork can influence the way you work and the way you feel. So in the beginning of this project, I wanted to do a really big mural. I wasn't sure the size, but I did this as a sketch of what I wanted it to be. However, um, I couldn't find anywhere that would let me paint. Like I, I couldn't find a really big surface area to let me paint anything. So instead, I had to change my plan. But however, even though before I started um, doing this rough draft, I kind of already knew that I didn't have a place to do it, but I still continued because um, something about me is that whenever something goes wrong, I tend to be very stubborn and I like to stick to it even though I know it's not going to work. So, but then in the end, I realized that it's, I'm not going to have enough time to do it, but at the same time, it's just not very ideal because there isn't a place where I could just paint something that big. So then um, I came across this for inspiration, and this was made by a French artist named Duchamp Pauvois. And basically, um, he, the idea of this was um, during his uh, winter vacations, him and his family, as, as a kid, him and his family would go to Germany for vacation, and, that, and the white cloth kind of represents the white mountains, and then he would find it very calming to look at it, and as a kid, he would be very scared to um, go on the slopes, but then just thinking about the white mountains really calmed him down, and the swings represent, um, during the springtime, um, he had this really big maple tree in the front of his house, and his dad would hang a swing on it, and then he would just find the greatest ideas while he was just swinging outside in nature. So he decided to create this, and this is um, in the MoMA in the uh, New York Muse Art Museum. And basically what it, what it is is a gallery where people can just go there and just think and swing. And I think this is a great idea because it's very, the looks of it is very whimsical. So then I decided that I wanted to help out my community, and I was going to go around and paint on uh, fire hydrants, and I think they look pretty funny and cute. So I was just thinking, around Saratoga, we have a lot of academic stress, and a lot of our parents and teachers have a lot of stress too. So wouldn't it be fun if you could just go on a walk and just look at something silly like that? And the idea behind this was that um, if many of you don't know, you, you can only park around five feet away from a fire hydrant. So I always thought that they were very lonely and they needed friends too. So. You know, like when you're a boy, you can just walk by and like talk to a friend. However, as I was doing the blue one, I think I think a cop drove by and told me it was illegal and told me to like wash it off and to take everything away. So that didn't work out either. So then I decided to switch over to this idea. So this was just a sculpture that I did, and I ended up wanting to do a very interactive um, play structure. And then I decided to do this is because you can do you can climb on it, you can do anything on it. And then I decided to choose wood and steel as my materials because I wanted to convey the importance of nature and industrialization. Kind of like the Silicon Valley, how um, sometimes we forget about how important nature is and we're constantly on our phones or constantly trying to improve technology when uh, a lot of times it's really disruptive towards our environment. And then um, when I created this, I realized how I created this because of my environment. Because I live in the Silicon Valley, if I did live in the Silicon Valley, I would not have created something like this. I would not have chosen the materials that I did. So th with that being said, to wrap up, the whole point of this project is to allow everyone to just realize how important your environment is. Just taking a step out to distress or just to think of ideas can create something really um, grand and beautiful. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.